The reporting around the health of Kim Jong-un began in the middle of last week. CNN reported that he was in grave danger after surgery, according to a US official. One MSNBC anchor, Katie Turd, tweeted that NBC News had spoken to two US officials who said the North Korean leader was brain dead. She then deleted the tweet out of, she said, an abundance of caution. More broadly, the story has maintained momentum. At the weekend, readers of TMZ saw this. Kim Jong-un, reportedly dead, was the headline. So what can we say with any certainty here? Well, first of all, here's some good advice from AP's Jean H. Lee. She says, no, I do not know what's going on with Kim Jong-un. Very few people outside his circle do. While there is often a kernel of truth in rumours about North Korea, we need to wait for credible sourcing on any reports about his state of health. So what sourcing do we have? Well, in the case of NBC and CNN, both have long records of reliably sourced journalism, but we can't judge their sources in these cases as they're not named. In the case of TMZ, well, it references media outlets in China and Japan, but says explicitly it hasn't been able to confirm those reports. So let's look at all of the key questions. First of all, do we know that Kim Jong-un is dead? No, definitely not. Next, do we know that Kim Jong-un had heart surgery? Well, we know the South Korean-based website Daily NK has reported that that happened, but that was based on a single unnamed source. The South Korean government has even questioned whether the hospital named in that report would be able to carry out heart surgery. I've never heard of Kim Jong-un's visit to Hyangsan, and since Hyangsan Medical Center is a regular health clinic, this is not a place for a medical procedure. What about whether the North Korean media is behaving differently? It's not, says BBC Monitoring, which watches North Korean TV and websites. In fact, North Korean media is still publishing reports of Mr. Kim sending letters and other activities. What about whether there's anything different at all happening in North Korea? Well, here's that same spokesperson from the South Korean Unification Ministry. There is nothing we can confirm on Chairman Kim Jong-un's health. But as the National Security Council Standing Committee has said, it confirmed there's no unusual movement in North Korea. That stance is still valid. Next, let's look at the fact that we haven't seen or heard from Kim Jong-un and whether that could be significant. Well, the last time that we did see him pictured was in the state newspaper on April the 12th. He was attending a meeting of the Politburo the day before. We also know he missed high-profile events, such as his grandfather Kim Il-sung's birth anniversary on the 15th of April and a 12th of April session of North Korea's parliament, which isn't really a parliament, but that's a different story. State media also failed to report a 14th of April weapons launch that would normally dominate coverage had Kim been present, all of which may suggest some things amiss. But remember, this is a guy who back in 2019 didn't appear for 14 days and then reappeared with a cane, and we still don't know what happened then. And listen to this from Professor Robert Kelly. North Korean leaders have actually done this kind of thing before. I think on the outside, we tend to sort of see that and say, oh my gosh, what's going on? And in part, that's because we just see so little about what is meaningful behavior inside North Korea from North Korean elites. But again, sort of when I, I mentioned before, so the idea of like trolling or sort of playing with us, North Korean leadership figures have missed events. And we've said, oh my gosh, well, you know, they got exiled or they were, you know, uh, liquidated. And then they show up three or four weeks later. So if Kim were to pop back up in two weeks, that actually wouldn't be that or out of the ordinary for North Korea. Um, this is sort of what they do. They, they, they just don't tell us a great deal and they just don't care that we don't know. You may have heard about the South Korean official who said Kim Jong-un was alive and well. Well, our sole correspondent, Laura Bicker, can help us with that one. When it comes to the South Korean presidential advisor, Moon Chung-in, he has actually gone even further. He said that Kim Jong-un is alive and well and at his resort in Wonsan. However, it were, is worth noting that Moon Chung-in is not a member of the presidential team and he's not privy to any intelligence briefings. Now, what about the rumour that Kim Jong-un was injured in a missile test? No evidence of that or that he's quarantined because a bodyguard has COVID-19. No evidence of that either. And then we need to look at the Chinese angle. 
over the weekend. Reuters cited unnamed sources saying a team of Chinese doctors had travelled to North Korea to provide Kim with medical assistance. Now, Reuters is, of course, very reliable, but even if we could be certain of that story, that in itself only tells us so much. And if you want to know what the Chinese are saying publicly about all of this, well, here you go. I want to say that I don't know the source of the information. I have nothing to offer in terms of the detailed question you asked. I also want to show you this satellite image. It's been published by analysts at 38 North. It shows what analysts think is Kim Jong-un's personal train at a resort that we know he likes to visit. There's speculation that he could be either quarantining or recuperating there. But we don't know that that's happening. In fact, after all of this, do we even know that Kim Jong-un is poorly at all? We don't. And very few people would know that, even if he were. Perhaps fewer than 10. We know he leads an unhealthy lifestyle, but so do lots of people who live to be a lot older than Kim Jong-un is at the moment. So how do we assess this? Well, here's Andre Lankov, the director of the analysis firm, the Korea Risk Group. I'm very skeptical about reports about his death, judging by behavior of the top North Korean officials. They are not acting as if as they would act have they known that he has died or is just about to die. And then this is Chad O'Carroll, CEO of the same Korea risk group, saying, look, when Kim Jong-il died in 2011, there were over two days of silence before North Korean state media would tell the world about what happened. During that period of time, one, state media continued as normal. Two, nothing unusual was detected on the ground in North Korea. The point being, people who study North Korea every day aren't sure at the moment. And that's a very good vibe for all of us, unless better and clearer information emerges.